This right here is Light Matica from Minecraft 1.21.6, and I'm gonna teach you how to install it in this video. Let's go. Now, the first step is to click the second link in the description, and here we're gonna download everything that we need, and this is also a quick guide in case I go too fast in this video. But first, let's download Light Matica. Go over to step one and press where it says mod rent right here. That is going to redirect it to this page where you're going to select game version, and then you're going to select 1.21.6, and then go ahead and hit download over here, and the download will begin right away for Light Matica. I want you to place that file in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Just drag and drop it into here. And now next, we're also going to have to download Malilip. If you scroll down a little bit in here, you will see Malilip in here and you want to press mod rent. Again, that's going to be the second link in the description. And then under Malilip, you want to select 1.21.6 and then hit download right here as well, just like we did with Light Marika. And then go ahead and place Malilip on your desktop, just like we did earlier. Now, once you have these two files, if you already have Fabric installed in your computer, just add these two into your Fabric mods folder and you're done. Just make sure you have the Fabric API as well. But if you don't have the Fabric mods loader, then let's go ahead and install that. For that, click on the third link in the description. That is a quick guide in here on how to install Fabric in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, go down to step one, press on Fabric. That is going to redirect you right here where we're going to hit Download Universal Jar and the download for Fabric will begin right away. And I want you to place the installer of Fabric on your desktop just like we did earlier. And we're also going to need to download Fabric API. This is a requirement by Light Marika. So click on the fourth link in the description. That'll put you over here. Select game version 1.21.6 and then download the most recent one for Fabric 1.21.6 right here. And just like we've done so far, we're going to place this file in our desktop as well. Now, once we got every file that we need, we are ready to start. First, make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher and that you have played Minecraft 1.21.6 at least once on your computer. Then go ahead and launch the Fabric installer by double clicking on it. It's going to open like this. And if it opened like anything else, like a notepad, a browser, or it didn't open at all, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. But if it did open like normally like this, just go ahead and hit install under 1.21.6. And like I was saying, guys, if it opened as a notepad or something else, that's because you don't have Java 21. And Java 21 is a requirement for modding Minecraft 1.21.6. I'm gonna leave you this article in the description. You just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, and you'll have Java in your computer, and then you'll be able to install mods from Minecraft. Now, once you install Fabric, you'll get this prompt in here. Go ahead and hit OK, and you could actually delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. Now you're left with these three mods, the Fabric API, Light Marika, and Malilip. And now it's time to add this into the game. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And while Minecraft opens, if you want to support the channel, use the first link in the description and get 35% off with Apex Hosting when making your server. Apex Hosting supports over 200 mod packs, and they have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging or anything like that. And again, the first 25 people to sign up will get 35% off their Minecraft server. Now, back in the Minecraft launcher, once it opens, you will see that Fabric is selected here automatically, but we're not going to hit play just yet. We need to add the mods. For that, head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected over here on the top right. And then after you select modded, you will see Fabric up here. Hover over it and press where it says open installations folder. That is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files, but we are now looking for a specific folder called mods. And my mods folder is right here. And if you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. I'm actually going to delete mine if you don't have a mods folder just go ahead and create a new folder press new press folder name it mods mods just like that and then go ahead and open it and inside this mods folder we're gonna put all those three mods that we have in our desktop like marika malilip and fabric api now if you're going to add any other mods to fabric make sure they are compatible with 1.21.6 and also that they are running on the fabric mod loader and once you're done close this folder head back into minecraft and launch minecraft using fabric you might get a prompt in here read through it and if you agree hit play one more time and now just wait for minecraft to open now once minecraft opens just go ahead and launch a world and go ahead and test out you like marika if you did everything right when you launch your world and you press m you should get the Light Marika menu in here and now you're ready to start adding your schematics and all of that. Now, I'm not an expert using Light Marika, but I do know how to install it and that's exactly what we did in this video guys. How to install Light Marika 1.21.6. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.